the art of corporate success in the 21st century is managing contradictions. Oil India, with its 100-year heritage in oil production, has the unique distinction of having quickly recalibrated its relationship with oil in the modern world and, at the same time, recorded dramatic growth. This is a company that has extended its area of operation across the entire length and breadth of the country, from the tropical rainforests of Arunachal Pradesh, to the deserts of Rajasthan, the foothills of Uttarakhand, to the high seas of Tamil Nadu. A fully integrated upstream company, OIL has exploration and production acreages of over 150,000 square kilometers span India and overseas. It has participated in all the past seven NELP bidding rounds concluded so far and has now acquired a total of 24 blocks till NELP 7. Out of these, 16 are onshore and the rest eight are offshore blocks located in the prospective east coast of the country. The company has an overseas presence in eight countries, Libya, Egypt, Nigeria, Iran, Yemen, Sudan, East Timor and Gabon. Furthermore, there has been a consistent increase in the production of crude over the years. Oil India registered an increase in its crude oil production by around 12% for the year ending 31st March 2009. The company has produced 3.47 million metric tons of crude oil during 2008-2009, compared to 3.11 million metric tons last year. Similarly, natural gas production rose to 6.8 million metric standard cubic meters per day, as compared to 6.31 million metric standard cubic meters per day last year, registering a growth of 8%. It also has to be said that Oil India's vast experience in pipeline technology has been testimony to its skills in man management and cooperation with disparate technological, social, cultural and political pressures. OIL pumps its crude to refineries spread over a vast geographical area, to Digboy in Upper Assam, to Gawahati in Lower Assam and then to Baroni in Bihar. In fact, OIL has been feeding the refineries in Assam since its inception and this pipeline transports crude oil produced by Oil India Limited, ONGC and Canaro from their northeastern oil fields. While crude oil continues to hold center stage, the production, storage and bottling of natural gas is an important part of Oil India's operations. With so much emphasis today on gas and LPG as a cleaner fuel, the company, under strict supervision and with the highest safety standards in place, commissioned an LPG extraction and bottling plant in 1982. In fact, in Assam, many industries like gas-based power generation plants, fertilizer units, petrochemical plants and even tea gardens are dependent on OIL for gas supply. Similarly, in the western frontier of the nation, OIL provides natural gas to Rajasthan Rajya Vidyut Utpadan Nigam Limited. All these activities have boosted Oil India's profitability as well as expanded its profile from an upstream oil company to a dynamic revenue-oriented oil corporation. Coupled with the increase in production, the company also recorded a jump in profits to the extent of around 20% during the year. During the year, OIL had a profit after tax of 21,617 million rupees as compared to 17,889 million last year. The increase in profit is mainly due to the increase in production. The company has a track record of paying handsome dividends and in 2008-2009 it paid 305% dividend to its shareholders. The book value per share of the company is 436 rupees and the earning per share is 101 rupees as on 31st March 2009. The Government of India holds 98.13% shares of OIL, while the employees and others hold 1.87%. Indeed, as an upstream oil company, Oil India generates enormous curiosity in investors. As an investor, people look at a company which has got good track record. 
which oil India certainly has. A company which has a strong and a very committed management and a workforce. Again, I dare say oil India will be next to none on those fears. The kind of technological background that the company has, the kind of track record that we have, and you know, financially we are very sound. I think investors look for that. And investors would certainly look for a company which has the right kind of thoughts related to growth. And I don't have any doubt in my mind at all, as and when we can come with an IPO, this will be a big, big success. As a responsible corporate citizen, OIL has also undertaken a number of projects keeping in perspective the genuine needs of the people. Its corporate social responsibility policy is dynamic and tries to address such developmental issues in a planned and scientific manner. It is concentrating more on creating social assets and supports projects like construction of roads, bridges, educational institutions, healthcare, etc to improve the quality of life of those residing in its areas of operation. In a nutshell, here is an oil exploration and producing company that has diversified and spread its wings dramatically to all parts of the nation and across the globe. Here is a profit-making company, financially stable for over five decades, with no history of union or labor trouble of any kind with a proven record of technological innovation and good management. As a result, annual dividends have risen in an exponential manner. In short, you will always be proud to do business with Oil India.